guys, Natural J here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going over my top 10 makeup products of 2023. This is going to be split into three different parts. It's going to be makeup, hair, and then body, skincare, and fragrance will be in one. So today's makeup, so let's hop into it. I'm just going to pick up everything as it's sitting in front of me and talk about each product a little bit. Um, number one, well, first thing I'm picking up is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. Um, this went viral all over social media and I finally picked it up and I see why everybody loved this so much. It's very flawless looking, um, very skin like looking. It's very lightweight, absolutely love it. I'm in the shade 21W and I absolutely love whenever I wear this foundation. It just looks so good and it's just really, really amazing. So Makeup by Mario did a really good job with this foundation. So highly recommend it if you haven't picked it up. It's a really, really great foundation to have. Um, next up is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This thing, when I'm not wearing foundation, I am wearing this because I love this how this looks on my face. It just gives your face a nice glow. Um, just looks like your skin, but just glowy and stuff like that. I'm in the shade 6 Tan Deep and I absolutely love this stuff. It's just like an everyday thing for me. If I'm not, if I don't feel like wearing foundation, I will pop this on. It's just like, it's just amazing. Absolutely love it. I know you can mix this with foundation, but I just wear this by itself and then just set it with powder. But absolutely love this stuff. Very, very affordable and just absolutely amazing. Um, next up, I have my L'Oreal Palace Infallible Bronzer. Um, randomly saw somebody talking about this bronzer online, so I picked it up and I have mine in which shade is this? Dark. Absolutely love this bronzer. Um, and it has replaced my Fenty. I know, surprise, right? So I absolutely love this bronzer. A great alternative to bronzer because it's drugstore. L'Oreal really has amazing products anyway, so absolutely love this bronzer. Really, really great. Bye. Next up is my Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara. This mascara, oh, <laughs> holding it the wrong way. Whatever Rihanna put in here, girl, this mascara makes your lashes look amazing. They look really full and long and just, they look gorgeous. I absolutely love this mascara. I only need one coat and my lashes look amazing. You can do more than one coat, but I choose not to. I don't like to look that extra sometimes, but this mascara is everything. Like it's everything. I like it better than the other one, I think. Because I'm black or I forgot what the name of the other one was. I like this one better. I just, it's absolute hands down one of my favorite mascaras of 2023. And another mascara I was loving in 2023 is the Kosas The Big Clean. Now I don't want a dramatic lash. I just want my lashes to look a little extra. I'll reach for this one. This one doesn't make your lash, lashes look too dramatic like the Fenty Beauty one does. So if you're somebody who does not like like big, fluffy, dramatic looking lashes when you wear mascara. I would highly recommend this one by Kosas. Absolutely love this one. It makes your natural lashes just look a little bit extra, really full and just look really good. So absolutely love this mascara. Next up is the Rare Beauty Blushes. I have been wearing this one obsessively. This is in Grace. It's really pretty pink color. I love it. I'm not, I usually am not a blush girl like that, but when I tried these Rare Beauty ones, I instantly fell in love. I love the pigmentation on this. It looks amazing, especially this pink color. It goes perfect with any makeup look that I do. And it's just so easy to apply and just absolutely love it. And I have another one in like a terracotta color. I want more. I want more of these because these, I'm obsessed. Like these are just amazing liquid blushes. <laughs> Next up is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. These glosses by Maybelline are everything. I have about two of them. I want like all of them. This one is in stone. Absolutely love these glosses. They're super pigmented, not sticky. Um, drugstore, they're very, very affordable. And just like, I feel like they compete with high-end lip glosses. Like these are really, really amazing. Like everybody raves about these lip glosses. Go get it. Just, I highly recommend these. If you're looking for a nice um, lip gloss, they have everything from nudes to colors and stuff like that. So this is, these are everything, just everything. <laughs> and then next I have the Tower 28 glosses. Love this. This one is in Sesame. I forgot. Oh, I have Pistachio. The other one I fell in love with and I grabbed this one. These Tower 28 glosses are everything too. They're a little bit more, but I absolutely love them. Um, a girl's not sticky, very pigmented. They look really good. And it's just like they have, they have a few colors. Um, I'm interested in getting a couple more, but these are everything. Pistachio is my favorite because it's like a pinky nude color. I pair it with a brown lip liner. Everything. It's just so good. And then next up, I have the ColourPop So Juicy Glosses. These are amazing. This one is in QT. This is like the first one that I got. And it 
pairs so well with a brown lip liner. They're super, they make your lips look so juicy and glossy. They're not sticky. That's my thing. I do not like sticky glosses. So if a gloss is not sticky and it stays for a good amount of time, I'm in love. So these are very, very affordable too. I'm about to pick up all these because they are my favorite. These are another one I typically reach for. Amazing. And then my last product is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I didn't open this one yet. This is a new one, but I love this setting spray. I fell in love and it was just like my makeup stays put and makes it look good and just absolutely love this. And I love the one size too. I don't have it. Um, that's kind of like a runner up of a setting spray for me or in my top 10 of makeup products. But yeah, guys, that is everything that is in my top 10 favorites of 2023 for makeup. Um... Let me know if you tried anything that I've mentioned. And until next time, guys, I will catch you in the next one. And stay tuned for part two, well, the other two parts of hair products. And then beauty, well, yeah, beauty, skincare, fragrance will be another top ten. So until next time, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Later.